Hello and welcome to this Game Maker tutorial about character creation with animation. Um, because I got a lot of questions about that after I made the uh, uh, character creation tutorial so many years ago. Um, yeah, uh, I've changed a little bit. Um, uh, but people were like, oh, how do you make it move? Because I really made it terrible when I did. Uh, so, finally, I've got around to answering people's questions, and hopefully you enjoy. So, let's get started here. Um, I made some sprites ahead of time, just so I wouldn't waste your time. Uh, I basically took this tank, um, that's without the top, um, and the treads, and I basically separated every part. Okay, yeah, I'll just show you here. Um, I separated every part, and they all have the same animation. It's a little thing. I guess it bounces. Uh, now, you can do whatever you want. I just didn't want to draw humans because that would be time consuming and difficult so I came up with this game uh, so yeah bounces fun stuff let's get started alright okay so let's name it uh, obj player score tank and we'll select um, whoa that was weird uh, <laughs> uh, I'm just going to select this. You don't actually see it, so whatever you want to use as your uh, thing. I don't know. Uh, creative event. Create event. Uh, do some text here. And uh, so we'll initialize these variables here. Uh, global dot tank color. And we'll set that to C green. Now I'll explain this in a second. Um, and then also image alpha equals zero. Okay, so what I just did, um, if you don't have pro, then don't fret. You don't have to do this. You don't have to add color effects. But I really want to make my game so that people can make the tank whatever the color they want. And um, this image alpha set to zero, that's basically making it transparent so we can add the parts in on top of it and you wouldn't see in the background and uh, stuff. Okay, and then we'll go up to the move and let's see, where is it? Right here. Set the friction to 0.2 so it'll come to a nice slow stop. And in the step event, um, we'll do a little bit of code here. Um, so image speed equals speed uh, divided by two. Um, so that what that does is it just sets uh, the frame rate to the speed of the tank divided by two and um, that's because we are setting the speed to two um, right now so you go to the keyboard event left uh, go up here why not we'll do this um, and we will set the left to two uh, duplicate that keyboard right change it to right and that's pretty much all you have to do for the tank um, so now we will make our other objects we'll do the object control and I'll just do the other one as well uh, object player parts Okay, now this is going to be the one that we're going to do all of our fancy 
stuff that draws the pieces of the tank. Okay, um, so under object control, we have to set some variables here. So we'll go to uh, game start. Um, okay, so I'll do global dot tank color equals C green. Um, actually, I just noticed a redundant a redundancy here because we did we said that for the tank itself. I am not sure why I did that. Um, you can obviously change that. I don't I don't know why I did that. Oh well. Um, and then global dot tank body equals SBR tank body and global dot uh, tank top equals SBR tank top. Oh, top. Okay. Uh, basically, that sets the global variables variables for each part. Obviously, these are going to change when you do your um, customization and whatnot. So let's look into that right now. We've got the body, which is black and white, um, because we're going to be adding in colors. And so you want to do that. I should have made mine a bit brighter, so white will be whatever color you want, uh, plus these uh, spots. And that's just my first style. Then style 2 has nice stripes there. Uh, tank top with spots. Tank top 2 with stripes. So those are my wonderful assortments of choices <laughs> that you have. Um, the way I set it up is you can actually have as many as you want. So good news for you if you want to have a lot of custom uh, options and stuff. Okay. Uh, that's done with the control player parts. Fun stuff here. Okay. Uh, so go to the draw event. Get some code up in here. Alright. This is going to be pretty extensive, so bear with me. Um, you're going to want to do draw sprite. Oops. And, uh, We'll do SBR tank gosh dang it, tank treads comma OBJ player tank and uh, we'll copy this and we'll say OBJ player tank dot X and player tank dot y all right so that's the tank treads um that is a simpler draw event or code um because that's not going to be customized but the top and body are going to be somewhat complicated okay so this one is draw sprite ext I think that stands for extended. I'm not sure. Um, and then we'll do global dot tank body. So that's that one variable that we uh, established in the control, comma uh, obj player. Uh, oh, what? I'm sorry. I'm reading my notes here. Um, nope, scratch that, um, obj tank, oh, tank body, comma, obj tank, oh, okay, yeah, I'm sorry, this is wasting your time, look at me, go, what? OBJ player tank. 
Oh. Ugh, okay. Um, player tank dot image index, comma obj player parts. Gosh dang it, I did it again. Okay, this is X and Y. MBJ player tank dot X dot Y. Um, X scale, Y scale, just set that to one um, unless you want it for some reason. Um, and then we'll do OBJ player tank dot direction. X Ooh, no. Okay, we'll just, for now, we don't want it to rotate at all, so we'll just set that to zero. Um, and then global dot tank color, comma one. All right, um, if you did want some rotation and you want it to be parented, you parented, you could do obj player tank dot um, uh, image angle. So whatever you set that to. Now we'll copy this and paste it, and we'll tweak the settings a little bit. Um, now this is going to be for the top. So obviously you go in here and you say tank top or whatever, um, tank top, player tank dot image index, that's fine, blah, blah. and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it, as I can see, now, I made some buttons, okay, these are what's going, this is what's going to change your events, now I'll just run through this, uh, but it's pretty much just basic buttons, um, I've got a, when you enter it, you've got changes into something else, I guess, a different image that's all fancy, so it's dark, and then um, the next frame is colored, so it's basically the same one, just sub-image uh, 1 and sub-image 0 when you leave, and then you press it, uh, here's for you people that are doing color. You want to set this to global.tankcolor equals get color in parentheses image underscore blend. So what that'll do is it'll bring up the color wheel similar to the one in the sprite editor and you can do all sorts of fun stuff and people will feel like they are in control of the universe because they can control that. <laughs> um, yeah, and then the uh, the buttons for the top and body uh, are basically um, when you click it it cycles through so you could have as many as you want so in the create event you say button select equals zero and that's a local event or a local variable uh, so you don't have to worry about uh, repeating that um, and then I'll leave this up here this is in the step event if you want it to cycle through so I'll give you a minute um, to copy that down. You can pause it, whatever. Uh, so basically, it's saying uh, if it's um, if, if button select is greater than one, which is my limit, then it goes back to the beginning. So you're cycling through. And it also says if it's equal to zero, this image, one, this image, and so on and so forth. Okay, and when it's pressed, uh, button select plus equals one. So there you go, it's pretty much the same thing for the body. Um, yeah, it's the same thing. Make sure to change these variables though. So global.tankbody equals SPR tank body and tank body two to switch it up. So now we'll make a room uh, and we'll put our uh, buttons in here. So color 
top. Oh. Body. And our tank. Sweet. Alright. Let's test this out. And see if it runs. Oh. Avast, you little... I say this every time, literally, and it just always comes up with that. Loading your awesome game of tanks. Boom. What? What is this nonsense? Oh. I know what this nonsense is. We forgot to put our control objects in there. Noob mistake. That is not this one. That is this. Okay. So let's go back in here. Let's put the parts and the control. Now you should be all set. I'm sorry about that. I like that background. Oh my gosh. What is it now? Tank color. I am missing a period. These things happen. Oh, not this. Let's find that dirty rascal. Global dot. You guys should have warned me through the computer or whatever it is that you're watching this from. There it is. Yeah. Woohoo. Ooh. Look at that. Let's bounce in. What is this? That is not moving. All right. Well, I'll fix that in a second. All right, let's just test this. We got some yellow. Mmm, yellow. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. Changes. And the body changes. So that all works. Don't know what that is about. We'll try to fix that here. Obviously, there is something up. I think it was another one of those. Okay. Tank treads. Tank underscore treads. Tank j dot x dot y. Oh. <laughs> what is this? I'm sorry. Image index. That's what I'm pretty sure that's what's supposed to be. Dot image index. Okay. Um Yep. And so basically it was setting the frame number to a sprite name, which was confusing the crap out of it. And it obviously would not work. Now it works. Yay. Woohoo. We've got a tank. And we'll make it pink. Or, yeah, pink. We'll make it have stripes. Well, that's all I have for today, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I wish you good luck on your programming and customer, customer, image customization, character customization. Um, yeah, see ya.